I'm Rob. I teach computer science and robotics and game design. In computer science, you'll learn how computers work and have an opportunity to develop your programming skills. If you like problem solving and you have a strong background in mathematics or even a reasonable background in mathematics, then computer science is a good option in year 11. Uh, otherwise, I'd recommend doing robotics and game design first. While it may help to have some background in coding, it's not essential as we cater for a wide range of experience. Robotics and game design is a level two subject that focuses on developing your engineering principles in the context of software and mechatronics engineering. The course is divided up into two main parts, robotics and game design obviously. Uh, in robotics we undertake a, a whole bunch of challenges from sumo to assistive devices to making games. In the game design part of the course we obviously focus on making games. Uh, we make video games in a bunch of different genres and that part of the course culminates in working as a team to make a larger game. My name's Lou Christie. I'm one of the IT teachers here at Hobart College. One of the subjects I teach is called Information Systems, which is a level three pre-tertiary course. And that subject is about learning how to create a system, how to design a system. We do a lot of project management. Don't have to be on an IT pathway, don't have to be technical. So it really suits anyone who's even looking at a business pathway and understanding how IT fits in industry. The other subject that I run is Certificate two and three in IT. And those two subjects, we've got a lot of flexibility around how we can deliver those. We could do that on one line, or you could do the whole course on two lines. And that course has a focus on IT support, where we look at hardware and networking and software, and how you can go about helping people and helping to solve problems. So if you're looking at a pathway, potentially down into an IT trainee type role, then this is a really great course to do. The Cert 3 is the next level up from that course where you would actually go into more detail, set up a, a network, look at more detail around the actual topics on hardware and software. And that is a one-line course, so you can do that if you're doing pre-tertiaries, you can actually have that as a separate course as well. So hopefully we'll see you up here choosing one of our IT subjects, whether you're on an IT pathway or you just want to improve on your IT skills overall. Whether you choose to do robotics and game design or computer science, I look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.